What is up, YouTube? My name is G3Iron, and today we are talking about Rampage. What is Rampage? Uh, Rampage is a particular skill effect that is given by a lot of different items. You can acquire it a couple of different ways in Path of Exile. One of the most popular ways right now in Betrayal League uh, for Magic Find characters is to get Rampage on a Bisco's Leash. Bisco's Leash right now is running, let's take a look, about 40 to 45 Chaos. I bought mine last week somewhere in like the 60 to 70 range uh, in order to start uh, magic finding on my Queen of the Forest Wind Ripper uh, magic find build. So what is Rampage and why do so many people uh, want to try to get it? Let's take a look together. Rampage is a kill streak mechanic that provides rewards for killing increasing numbers of enemies without stopping. Rampage was initially introduced in Rampage League. After the Rampage League ended, this mechanic was not added to the core game in an always on sort of way. It is still available for players wearing certain unique items. Animate Guardian can't gain Rampage even if it meets the requirements of the relevant part of the equipment. So if you try to equip a Bisco's Leash to your Animate Guardian, you're going to be sorely disappointed. It's just going to have a bunch of uh, uh, strength and uh, <laughs> cold resistance. It's not actually going to be able to gain Rampage. So why is Rampage such a big deal, especially for Magic Finders, and uh, why does it matter, and what are the specific bonuses? So the mechanics of Rampage are that the Rampage counter keeps a running total of consecutive kills. When the character or a nearby party member fails to get a kill within five seconds of the previous kill, the Rampage counter will reset to zero. Enemies that award no experience, including spawned or resurrected monsters, summoned minions, and the lesser creatures that appear after killing a fractured monster, do not count toward the Rampage counter. When the counter reaches certain milestones, the character enters a new Rampage tier and a special beneficial effect is triggered. In addition to the tiered effects, the character gains the following stats. 1% increased movement speed per 20 Rampage stacks and 2% increased damage per 20 Rampage stacks. The maximum Rampage count is 1,000 stacks. Kills after this number is reached will not increase the Rampage count anymore, but will renew the countdown. So what that means is, is you cap out at a thousand and once you hit a thousand, the timer essentially just keeps reticking, but it stays at a thousand. It doesn't continue to uh, expand the number of effects or mechanics or skills that are going off. It simply refreshes the duration of the current Rampage skills that are going off. Now, there are 13 Rampage tiers. The number of kills required per tier remains the same throughout each part. So here's each part. We're going to zoom in on this just so that way it's nice and easy to see. 15 kills gives you the first tier of Rampage, a Nova of ice of Spears that damage and stun surrounding enemies. Sorry, it's not ice, it's just a Nova of Spears. Don't know why I was thinking ice. Uh, tier 2 at 30 kills, a large area of effect detonate dead, which is great, especially right now in Betrayal League where there are so many undead effects uh, that can explode corpses around you and end up killing you simply by being in proximity to them. It's really nice to have corpse explosions as you are running around, not necessarily paying attention to all of the animations of all of the enemies that are around you. At tier 3, you get animated weapons, which is hilarious. It's really funny as you're running around a map and you just see, you know, there are whirling blades and bows and arrows flying all around the place. Uh, at tier 4, at 70 kills, you get a damaging Nova that echoes off of enemies like Vol Ice Nova. At tier 5, at 100 kills, you get a Nova of Arcing Spears that damage and stun surrounding enemies. At tier 6, you get Animated Bows, which is really, really nice because they do uh, range damage and uh, they can shoot stuff from a far distance away. It's really nice. And a lot of the times with Rampage mechanics, with the animated weapons and bows, if you don't get you know a stray kill here or there, they'll actually pick it up on the way out so you can continue moving and keep your Rampage stacks going. At tier 7, 5 damaging Novas cast with one second intervals that's really really nice especially if you can hit it on top of a rare enemy or a unique enemy where you just needed a, a little bit of a burst or extra damage uh, it's kind of akin to timing vol skills where you want to save up souls and then use your vol skills to burst down a boss or a unique or a rare enemy uh, it's a little bit like that where if you're playing rampage and you can time it well then it's really really helpful especially even for uh, betrayal encounters with the syndicate 
At tier 8, a cyclone spawns from the player. When the cyclone kills an enemy, another cyclone appears, which is uh, really fun. Harkens back to uh, the Berserker Cyclone Whirlwind stylist of build from uh, D2 and D3. Tier 9, a heavily damaging Nova that echoes off of enemy. Tier 10, cyclone that explodes nearby enemies. Tier 11, five Novas of spears that damage and stun surrounding enemies. Now that is huge. All of these on stun effects uh, on hit are absolutely lifesavers for magic find characters. Even if you're running with a support that's giving you a bunch of defensive layers like uh, Vol Grace or Discipline or uh, all of your purity auras, even with all of those defenses, occasionally you'll get far enough away from your support where either those are no longer applying to you uh, or it could simply be that something actually survives all your damage for a moment and could hit you, potentially stun you. And so it's really, really nice to have these uh, quality of life bonuses to be able to simply kill stuff, which is what you're normally going to do anyway, and then also have a stunning effect go off in an AoE around you. It's really, really nice. At tier 12, two cyclones that explode nearby enemies, and at tier 13 at 520 kills, large explosions around the player that detonate corpses. Again, corpse removal is huge, especially for Betrayal League with all of the corpse detonations that are going off. Now, there's a couple of different ways to actually acquire Rampage. Here are a short list of the uh, couple of uniques that allow you to gain Rampage. So, Flesh and Spirit, these are some unique gloves that actually give you uh, a bunch of minion, uh, sorry, maximum life uh, recovery when you've got Rampage, when Rampage turns on. Essentially, when you first start Rampage, uh, you get a bunch of life recovery. Bisco's Leash, of course, which we featured at the beginning of the video. Shadows and Dust, these are, again, some gloves. It creates a smoke cloud on Rampage, and you gain Unholy Might for three seconds on Rampage. And, of course, it simply gives you the skill Rampage. Worm Sign is another wonderful way to grab Rampage. You lose all Endurance Charges when Rampage ends, but you gain Rampage. Uh, Rampage while you're at maximum endurance charges and you get 4% reduced mana cost per endurance charge, which is really, uh, really fun if you're doing some sort of rampagey earthquake, leap slam, juggernaut, endurance charging, rampaging freak of nature. Null and Void is another wonderful way to grab uh, Rampage, and it gains immunity to physical damage for 1.5 seconds on Rampage. Now, that only happens when you first trigger Rampage, so it's not going to be every tick, it's just when you first get it. The Dancing Dervish is another way that you can get Rampage. It is a wonderful weapon. I don't have time to get to all of the details of Dancing Dervish because really there are whole builds, whole summoning builds that are dedicated to maximizing the potential of Dancing Dervish. But uh, nonetheless, there it is. This is a wonderful way for summoners to take advantage of Rampage uh, to its max effect. There is also Sinvicta's Metal, which is this massive two-handed axe that simply gives you Rampage, and you get 2% increased area of effect per 25 Rampage kills, and you gain a Frenzy Charge on every 50th Rampage kill. That's pretty awesome, because you're just always going to have Frenzy Charge up. It's really fun. It's not necessarily effective, but it's really, really fun to watch Cyclone players uh, or even Discharge players uh, using uh, <laughs> Sinvicta's Metal. It's, it's funny. Again, not effective, I'm not saying you're going to go clear red maps with it, but it's funny to watch. Okay, and then, of course, there's the dancing duo, which uh, we've already mentioned. It's brother in crime, the dancing dervish. So that is uh, the rampage mechanic. We're going to take a look in-game here in a moment at what does the rampage mechanic actually look like as you're running around and playing. All right, so what does the uh, rampage mechanic actually look like. You saw it proc there in the top left hand side of your screen, top left hand side of your screen. You can see that there is a kill counter going on right now. You can see that there is both a timer that is attached to that. That's the yellow bar that either uh, starts from the right and decreases down to the left. It actually counts for you every single kill you've got. You don't have to memorize the tiers of Rampage in order just to know that Rampage is doing its thing and doing good work for you. But you see all of these extra effects that are going off? All of these extra effects that are going off. I'm simply using Tornado Shot with Mirage Archer and some Herald of Ice interactions. But the rest of this, there's some of our Cycloning uh, weapons that are going off. You can see if I don't get a kill here for a few seconds, the Rampage timer goes down and nearly expires. It takes five seconds for it to completely expire, and boom, there goes Rampage. Now, until I get uh, 15 kills again, I won't have Rampage, but boom, there we go. We've got 15 kills. Thank you so much, game, for dropping me in pure chaos. And we're back into the Rampage action. This is fantastic, especially for Magic Finders. Again, in Delving, 
where there are just massive amounts of pack size. Pack size and delving is so amazingly um, solid. And so whenever you're in a tightly congested area like a delve, being able to stun a bunch of stuff and have a bunch of uh, additional AOE effects, uh, on kill effects, corpse detonation effects, and uh, stun clear effects, in addition to the already awesome stuff that you're using, many of us, of course, being Queen of the Forest, Wind Rippers. But no matter who you are, as long as you're taking advantage of Rampage, it is especially effective in high pack uh, quantity maps as well as high density areas like Delve. So that is the Rampage mechanic. Hopefully you enjoyed learning a little bit about Rampage. And as always, you can leave us a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more POE videos.